Under research, we follow numerous methods. Scientific method is one of the most common and popular methods in most of the researches. In this section, we would be focusing on a step to develop a scientific method. However, there are other methods like exploratory method, confirmatory method, which we would be covering in separate classes. So for now, let's understand the scientific method and an approach to move forward towards a scientific method. So what happens is whenever we are talking about anything through which we are drive, uh, deriving a relation, if it is scientific in nature, we have a tendency to apply certain statistics concepts and the statistical method and in the initial position we basically formulate or organize the ideas and uh, build around those ideas the concepts so the very first thing under a scientific method is understanding or building of a concept so this is the most interesting aspect to describe a research and create a certain pattern so let's say i create a concept here and my concept is uh, i have seen a pattern of cancer cases in a specific area for example so let's take uh, an example of cancer cases now what i do is i try to organize my thoughts when i'm trying to organize my thoughts i start with describing those and in the description I simply uh, map some of the recent incidences that have happened. Now, when I'm trying to map some of the recent incidences, suddenly it comes up as a surprise that there are some findings that I could see. And based on that, I create a hypothesis. What could be the hypothesis? Let's say I create a hypothesis where I say the number of cancer cases are related or are uh, are basically explained with the distance from the power plant that is there now cancer cases related to power plant as simple as that so what i am trying to do i am trying to lay down a hypothesis now what is hypothesis as we have understood previously hypothesis is nothing but a tentative solution to a problem or simply laid down it is a proposition to explain the truth or the falsity uh, which is being capable of tested. Now, this hypothesis that I have created, which says the cancer cases declines with the distance from the power plant. So, I have created a hypothesis where I say cancer cases decline with distance from the power plant. So, as far I am from the power plant, the probability of getting cancer cases would reduce now this is a hypothesis that has been laid down this hypothesis is then uh, formalized into a model now what is a model model is much more detailed and tries to suggest the nature of relation between the variables that is there now when i am saying a model i create a likelihood where i say or I put it on a graph and I say the proportion of cancer cases are declining. So let's say this is my curve that I'm trying to explain as a model. Once I have the model in hand, which says that it's clearly related that uh, declining cancer cases are seen with the distance from the power, point, uh, power plant that is located, I try to validate that. Now, what is validate, validation? Validation is simply, I have certain observed data and I'm trying to understand or relate that observed data with the expected phenomena. So, creating a relation between the observed phenomena versus the expected phenomena is what is validation. So, what I do is I validate my findings. Once I have validated those findings, I create the laws. Now, what are laws? Laws simply mean that a scenario or a situation which is applicable at one given location, let's say uh, my model which I created of declining cancer cases with the distance from the power plant is true for setting A, but as per is true for setting A as per my model, but it would be true for setting B or region B as well as per the 
law so under laws we are trying to create a universal statement with unrestricted range my range is not limited i cannot limit it to this a uh, hypothesis or this model would come true only in the region a i would say that this model is true for all the cases that are studied and therefore this is a law so understanding the difference between model and law is very very important model is a formulation from the hypothesis which is uh, which is given based on the certain finding in a certain region however when that model is largely applied to all of the regions without any unrestricted uh, boundaries we would say it starts to become the law and that is a major difference now once the laws are there those are finally classified as theory a very interesting definition of theory which was laid down by einstein says that theory is nothing but the creation of human minds and this is the open creation that we do and therefore theories are essential and important now here a theory could be laid down which says that the cancer cases are related with the spatial variation that is true but there could be other parameters like the impact of diet the impact of being brought up and those could be another parameters that could be taken in account while understanding the rate of cases and therefore we say this is a theory now this is how we understand this whole pattern so it is starts from the concept once you have a concept you try to organize it and explain it and to your surprise you come up with a hypothesis and you start your research with that hypothesis once you have the hypothesis based on that hypothesis you formalize certain information and create a model if that model becomes applicable to a huge set of population without any restrictions to specific local areas we would say it turns into a law and this law finally eventually becomes a theory which according to einstein as we said is a free creation of human mind and this theory could be applied to a greater set of further researches that could be done so that is how you proceed with a scientific research or a scient uh, this is a kind of scientific method in research we would be covering other interesting methods for your research so stay tuned for many updates on research writing and research methodologies in the upcoming lectures have a wonderful day ahead